Hello guys and welcome to a new episode of Legends. Don't forget about our weekly 2-pack bundle code giveaway. Subscribe and leave a comment with what is your favorite card and why. Answer that and you'll be automatically added into the hat. Uh, the winner will be announced on Saturday during Anatomy of a Fight episode. Uh, and you know what time it is. It's time we get out of rank 1 and pass on to Legends. And what better deck to do it with? None other than Prophecy Battle Mage. Now, I know some of you guys hate it. Uh, some of you guys love it. I personally think it's the best of both worlds. Um, it works perfectly in the existing meta right now. Uh, in rank 1, we are 4 to 1. So, I expect uh, the next wins to take me up to Legends. I'm playing against uh, Mr. Red Sox. Playing a Redoran. Oh, there goes the aspect of his scene. Goodbye. So sorry. Oh, thank you for a subscription. Now, this is just insane boosted um, display of creatures. Let's shackle that up. Time to die weakling. Oh, I'm going to die in um, 50 years or so, I suppose. Hopefully. <laughs> if nothing bad happens. Uh, so it's turn four. Yeah, time to die weakling. Not today. Uh, let's see, we got... Uh, 9 plus... Uh, yep. Let's trade into that. Not enough uh, damage to... Um, to go fully uh, lethal. But we are going to go lethal next turn. So it's death by turn four. Thank you for the match. Good game. Let's see what we're up against on match two. Uh, playing someone from rank three. Uh, I don't like Fate Weaver. Go away. It's another battle mage. Uh, this is going to be interesting. We have to find out what kind of battle mage it is and fast. So um, let's go with the imp. It'll give us some nice starting uh, damage. No play. Uh, this could be the giant mid range battle mage. And we will use this to our advantage. Blighted Elite on the field. Uh, let's get ready to start um, gaining some damage. Gaining, that's right, because we're dealing it ourselves. Yep, this could be the giant uh, mid-range battle mage. Uh, Mystic Dragon, that would have been good as a prophecy. Let's see here. No prophecy. Pull him down to ni uh, 19 HP. Let's summon something. The Mystic Dragon plays well into the field lane. If we get a guard in the shadow lane. Lightning Bolt. Ooh, looks like our opponent here does not uh, like surprises. Oh, one damage off. Would have been a nice prophecy. Hopefully, uh, yeah, it's not going to survive. Uh, you do me honor. Well. You do me honor too, but it's not game over yet. It 
if that mage get bo uh, gets boosted and destroys uh, Blight of the Lit, uh, he will lose it unless he wards this ag again Firebolt, getting rid of that Greystone Ravager. Kept four Magicka there, maybe specifically for the Tome of Alteration. Let's see now. Any moment. Uh. Uh, this reminds me <laughs> of a line from uh, Independence Day. <clears throat> uh, when the guy talks to his father about playing chess, uh, his father just throws something on the ground. And the guy just tell, uh, tells him, uh, do you know how much time it takes for that plastic bottle to decompose? And the old man uh, replies, <laughs> if you don't move faster, I will start to decompose. <laughs> Let's go with some damage, getting our boost. Werewolf on the circle initiate. Uh, so, if Circle Initiate is not removed, and if, actually if, oh, no, both creatures will get removed. So unfortunate. We only got the only copy of Underworld Vigilante. And it's in our hand. Uh, p -p -p sharpshooter Scout. Well, we are going to play that and deal one damage. If it does not get removed or blocked, we still don't have lethal. <laughs> oh boy. But it seems our opponent is uh, less content at uh, damaging us. I think uh, he knows <laughs> what he's up against. Yep, <laughs> there it is. And an old clan captain. Uh, still not enough damage for lethal. So we will pass our turn. Now, if we get an item... Or another sharpshooter scout. Um, we win. Battle Mage Onslaught. All that damage on the field, it's pretty pointless if you do nothing with it. Wait, what? Why was a... Uh... Giant Bat? What's Giant Bat doing? Oh, he got it. He got it from uh, Battle Mage Onslaught. Wow. <laughs> of all the creatures in the world, lifesteal he gains. Well, uh, it's pretty obvious once you started dealing damage what was going to happen. Down to 3 HP. And it's all over. Relentless Raider. <laughs> Single copy also. Well, Underworld Vigilante saves the day. Thank you for the match. Good game. Let's uh, hop on to the next one. See how much we got left. Two more matches required. Let's see if we can get them. Playing against from uh, against somebody from rank three again. I can't spell that. Co Chesset thirteen, I believe. Playing a Crusader, and uh, that imp kind of gives it away. I have a vague idea of what kind of crusader he is playing. Yup. 
Protector of the Innocent confirms uh, my suspicion. We have uh, a Prophecy Crusader here. So it's going to be the Race of Prophecies. May the best prophecy drawer <laughs> win. <laughs> uh, cool keep Okay. May have been wrong about that. Um, Mystic Dragon. Huh. Let's get rid of that cool law keeper. Ooh. Relentless Raider is in our hand. We also have two... Crushing blows. Let's get rid of that. Let's get a relentless raider out and start dealing damage. Nom 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 nom. Pachoo! Relentless raider be like, can I ask you a question? <laughs> Random axe thrower. <laughs> um, guys, um, forgot to mention something. You can leave a, a comment. Riyad Osman. Okay, you can leave a comment with uh, I don't know deck suggestions. What you'd like me to play next? Considering I'm uh, going to be hopping on to Legends. We can do all sorts of uh, meme stuff. And we've got a cast out. Oh, we've got a cast out. And we can cast out a protector of the innocent. Uh, let me see if that works for me. Let's crush blow, crush, crush blow. <laughs> yeah, casting it out could have uh, turned into a pain in the bum. Could have summoned it into the field lane and blocked uh, our precious damage there. Circle initiate. Ooh, and I think it's dead. Its name is dead because I killed it. Good game. Thank you for the match. One more to go and we're off to Legends. Oh, final match. Um, match point, match, game match, game set and match, whatever. We are set on one goal and one goal only. Get to Legends. And we're not going to let um, this assassin deck stop us. I'm so sorry, so go the fox. But um, if my uh, draws are consistent, you will meet your maker. Prepare to be prophesized. Kapow. Uh, let's see what kind of assassin is this. Uh, could be Tempo Assassin, could be Alto Assassin, could be a lot of uh, assassin stuff. Well, that Raystone Ravager is dead. So unfortunate. Wardcrafter. Oh, that's not good. This looks like the moment to switch lanes. Okay, so that will die as expected. Mournful traitor. And a wardcrafter. A wardcrafter thrown into the shadow lane. 
And we've got a lightning bolt. Well, hitting for face is our primary objective. So what we are going to do is, if he's so keen on, on, uh, on trading as we've seen, he'll be in for a nice surprise. If no wardcrafter covers that mortal traitor, He's going to be, uh... He's going to receive a, a deadly dose of high voltage. <laughs> a lightning bolt. Oh, and we've got another lightning bolt. Oh, uh hmm. -huh. And on six, I can use a ring to get the shrieking harpy out. That's the old damage. Let's kill that off and get that two on token. Does that count as a token? It's generated. I hope it is. Either way, it's a body that we can use to push for more damage. Yep, opponent will trade. We have strategically shackled um, his cliff racer. Pesky bastard. You got what was coming to you? Chains. You got chains. Um. Well, we've got four, six, eight. We've got lethal. We've got lethal for seven magicka. Bone down to six HP. Crushing Blow and Lightning Bolt will seal the deal. And we're off to Legends. Thank you guys for watching. See you next time tomorrow night. Thank you and cheers.